Hello guys, I hope uh, you are all doing fine. So today I will be talking about my vehicle. This is the Suzuki Max 100R, a 2001 model. So I took this basically from, a, to be precise, from a scrapyard <laughs> because that's the condition I found this bike in. And so right now it's nearly completely built. So today I will be discussing about the parts that I've changed, the parts that I've replaced and the new parts that I've used. So let's start with the front. So this is the stock tire that I got, not been replaced. And uh, these also stock rims, stock spokes. The, the brakes, these have been overhauled, the pads are new. And this cable, the brake cable is new, the speedometer cable is new. So when I got this bike, the speedometer, uh, this thing was completely broken, the warm gear, everything was broken. So it was completely taken apart and rebuilt. And the front forks, these are original forks. But yeah, they were also rebuilt with uh, new new springs and oil and oil seal. This is the original mudguard. It has some scratches over here, but uh, it's fine. I used the uh, normal diesel and kerosene to properly, you know, get that good shine from the thing. This boot also was replaced. And uh, coming here, this is a headlamp. As you can see, this is uh, from the Shogun. The Suzuki Shogun, I got it for a good deal. So this will cost you about some 450 bucks for a set of four. And uh, inside this is your wiring. So the headlamp, yes, the headlamp has been replaced once, I mean twice. And uh, the wiring kit was also completely new. As you can see, there is a small label right here. That's a new wiring kit. It's been replaced uh, a, few, few, a few weeks back. This is the original casing, but what I've done is that I've stickered this and I'll also painted the Stevia Suzuki logo here. And uh, I've, yeah, the speedometer was completely jammed. So I, I, I had to rebuild that also. I, in fact, when I got the bike, this was the first work that I did because I wanted this thing to run, the odometer to run. So the, the first thing I did was to fix the speedometer completely. And, uh, and then, as you can see, this is a different handlebar. This never came with the bike. This is called as the RD handle, you know, it resembles the Yamaha RD 350 handle. But the thing is that this is this is not the way I got it. It was much bigger actually, 2 centimeters bigger on each side. What what The problem was that the cables were stretched by a bit because of the length. So what I did is I cut 2 centimeters here and there and now it's perfectly fine. And uh, coming back here, the bike didn't come with mirrors. So both the mirrors were uh, bought and placed. Both the levers were replaced because they were all... Uh, you know loose and you know lost all their paint and uh, both switch gear consoles were rebuilt with new connections and clean, uh, terminals were cleaned and this is actually a mobile phone mount because I will probably be going in and around the city so I need to know places where I am going and uh, as you can see this is a petrol tank but this is not the one that came with the bike this is from another bike the one that came with the bike was completely replay, resto I mean, uh, rusted so it, I had to throw it away you know it, it had a lot of M seal under, under, under here so I had to throw that away and I used an, an old tank bought it from 15, 15, 1500 bucks and uh, this sticker I have to thank uh, creators.co official I'll, I'll put a link on the description below this is not a sponsored video by the way but I love this sticker because you know it comes with, goes with the vibe of the bike and uh, yeah we'll come down to the engine this is the engine a little cat <laughs> this is the engine as you can see um, it has lost a lot of its paint uh, if I can come here but what I've done is that I've used some old oil to you know keep it nice and clean and as you you might be thinking what is this this is called as a fuel filter this is the Paco filter from uh, which used to come with Java motorbikes if you remember Java and ESD a stock uh, carburetor this has been rebuilt uh, cleaned and rebuilt uh, multiple times and I'm getting an efficiency of between 35 to 40 kilometers per liter and you might be wondering that what this is. This is all a sticker. Uh, I think I have to thank uh, um, Inline 4. That, that's whom uh, I bought it from. Mad Monkey Automotives. I have to mention if you are in Chennai, these guys are the best when you, it comes to fixing your motorbikes and rebuilding stuff. So yeah, carburetor pipes were replaced. In, inside this box is the air filter that was replaced. And it also has a indicator tone now. That was also newly put. This is not the original, oh my, okay, I kind of fell. This is not the original uh, fuel tab, this is a new aftermarket fuel tab. So, the original fuel tab has the, had the outlet coming this way, so it, it, it won't fit the filter. So, I bought this, and yeah, this is doing a good job. So, I've done a proper cable management, so in the, from the side, you won't be able to see much of the cables, just uh, the oil pump, I mean the carburetor cables and the 
from the and the oil pump cable so i've done a good neat amount of good cable cable management there so while i was at at the you know wiring replacement time i did the cable management the seat actually this is a new seat the the original seat was thrown away some some time and uh, it had another seat which was which was extra foamed it was not very much comfortable so i threw it away and i got the original seat back and uh, this is actually not the original chain guard this is some duplicate stuff but i couldn't source the original one the underside i had I had to throw it the underside away because it was rubbing with the chain guard and coming back here the sprockets were replaced along with the chain the rubber bush and everything the rear uh, brake pads were also replaced actually for and uh, so this is the original sari guard i haven't uh, touched it the suspension uh, this is the original suspension but when i got the bike it came with some ct100 i mean sorry uh, some other suspension i don't remember so i think discover so i had to throw it away and i got this original suspension from pudupet from for like 300 bucks is a used one so damn prebound is it's very old so i think i may need to replace them in any way soon with or new ones i think i'll get the victor ones let's say series spring i'll le- the drop down a link in the description below and this is the original pay, uh, t- uh, i mean sorry rear panel i haven't replaced it and as you can see shogun indicators on both sides yeah parental advice <laughs> this also i think i got from them in line 4 i'll i'll put a description in the down link below you can get it looks nice looks really nice with the bike and uh, this is how the bike looks from the from the back so that's really nice and uh, this tail lamp the the cover was replaced because once you know uh, i parked the bike in the night in my house and next day morning i find this thing broken and fall down so i had to replace that it cost some 30 bucks or something and uh, this is the original wheel uh, it has not been replaced i, I just chromed it uh, not gonna chrome i just cleaned it with uh, diesel and kerosene same i got the pair of shocks for 300 bucks so that's an amazing deal this is the original silencer with the original heat guard uh, it's not been touched i have cleaned it as much as i could but as you can see there are some you know old paint marks which nothing could be done i use nail polish remover to get the maximum out of it couldn't could do much the swing arm has started to rust which uh, i think hopefully would be fixed soon and uh, yeah this is the right side of the engine here is where you have your uh, clutch plates and pressure plates and everything so i have replaced the clutch plates you know a uh, few days few weeks back actually here you can see some scratch marks this was caused by duplicate kickers and you know an improper fitment this is the original kicker so i have replaced it with the original kicker and uh, yeah coming back that's about it that's about uh, that's how my bike looks so right now i spent about um, 12000 rupees for the work the bike costed me 7000 rupees i'm sorry yeah 7000 rupees the paperwork costed me about 1000 rupees and yeah now this is what she is no we'll turn her on and uh, you can hear to the exhaust note as is nice a nice thing actually uh, this is the off position as you can see the readouts are completely vanished because you know time warrant uh, so when you turn this on you will see this red light coming this is a oil pump light this will this is a kind of reminder to fill up your oil so this is the on position right now if you turn on the headlights it won't work so but if you turn it to the full this is called as a night mode this is when your headlight work obviously if the engine is running because this is an older electrical system so we'll go to this to the on position and you can listen to this exhaust note so what you have to do is now this is a cold engine haven't been started so now right yet so we have to turn it down and normal kick another normal kick That's how she sounds. This is where your oil tank is. actually so this is not the original tone because i've uh, installed this is called as your core if you can see i've installed uh, a suzuki shogun core inside so it sounds much better than the stock one and uh, i'm using uh, this is very royal oil tank sits i'm using shell tuti oil i used motul previously both are really good go for whichever that is available 
Thanks for watching, guys. That's my bike. Suzuki Samurai. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Suzuki Max and R. The Samurai is kind of a dream bike. And the Shogun too. Yeah, I also forgot to mention uh, the the crash guard has been removed to get an old school look. Hopefully, I don't crash somewhere. <laughs> so that's a small thing. Yeah, always never forget to close your fuel tab because there is something called as a float inside your carburetor. If your fuel tab is completely open, the fuel will go inside and will jam the float. So you have to close the fuel tab once you're done riding. I mean, once you're done switching the bike off. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. Bratty Biker signing off. That's my beautiful bike.